Hi, this is Andy from Stuart Supplies. Received a call today from another customer who buys mats from us and was asking, what's the proper way to hinge a piece of artwork in a mat? There's many different ways. Um, this person was looking for an inexpensive, quick way. They do copies of their originals and sell them at outdoor fairs and things like that, it, uh, market them in stores. But they're very inexpensive pieces. They're, you know, in the, in the $30 to $50 range. So they wanted something quick. So this is a tape we use in-house, and we also sell it on, on the website. And it's an acid-free tape. And so I'm just going to go over it briefly. It's really a very simple process. So you take a piece of tape. We're usually, we use an inch, an inch and a half. Slide it under. We only hinge at the top for most things we do, unless it's a heavy work or something that's dimensional. Even, even in our custom framing end, we try to use as, as small amount of adhesive as possible. So what we'll do is we'll put two pieces of adhesive at the top, just like that, not even deeply into the piece, just enough to hold it, especially something like this. This is just a, a copy on paper. Then we take this. This happens to be one of our economy mats from our economy series. It's a white, 308 white. It's an 11 by 14 outside, so it fits into a standard size frame. And the inside is 4 and 8 by 10 work of art. The actual opening is 7 and a half by 9 and a half. So it gives you a little bit of wiggle room to put it around. Anyway, how I work it, and different framers do it differently, is I'll start at the bottom usually. And I'll set it up where I see it's, you know, hitting all points properly. And I'll put the mat down before I push anything, just so if I have to shift it, I can. Then very easily on the top. I try not to touch the mats too much with my fingers because a lot of times you'll make marks on them. Turn it over. Burnish it down briefly. That's it. That's the whole deal. This backing is our economy backing. It's very thin, it's flexible, it's about half the thickness of the mat board. We sell more of this than anything else as far as backing. I'll show you though, this is also available, this is a foam core board. It's much more rigid, but it's thicker, so when people bring 50 or 100 pieces to a show, most of them like to use this if the artwork is small enough, 11, 14, up to about a 16, 20. It's rigid enough for and then we just slide it under there. I don't book them together. I don't tape them together. My, our thought is always that if somebody wants to change something, it's, you always want to leave it easily accessible to the next framer or to the person if they want to change something. So the next thing we do is we grab one of our clearest glass bags. These are also an item that we carry and we sell. Um, very easy, they're reusable, they're resealable, and they're acid free. We call them clear as glass bags. So this is an 11 by 14 outside size, as I mentioned before. The bag goes, so the adhesive strip, there's an adhesive strip you peel, I'll show you in a second. It goes, so, it goes so that the artwork, you can't see the, the adhesive strip. I'll show you. Got a little tongue tied there. Anyway, so we put it in, and here's the, the tab that goes over. And you'll notice what I'm saying. This is what I was trying to say. Once we flip it, you can't see it. It gets done on the bottom. I can't tell you how many people bring them in that they bought a piece of artwork and the photographer or artist had flipped it the other way so that you have this strip running up the side. It just doesn't look as professional. Anyway, if you're going to do it, do it right. So you pull this off. This is garbage. You pull, you flip this up and pull it, you know, as tight as you can so it looks presentable. Fold it over, and there's your piece of artwork. What we recommend is if you're going to do this on a, you know, on a semi professional level or a professional level, you make up a bio about yourself. Something nice looking, something that doesn't look so, you know, very cheap. And you put it on the back of each one of your pieces with your information, your website, things like that. People know how to get a hold of you again if they like your work or if they show it to somebody who wants a copy. Anyway, that's it. It's an 1114 piece now set up to market just like that.
nice and easy and very inexpensive. Probably all three of these items, the bag, I'm not sure off the top of my head, but you're in here for about $2 or so for a bag, a back, and a mat. Anyway, you can see it on the website, www.stu-artsupplies, S-T-U-A-R-T supplies. Thanks. Have a great evening.